Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do real quick, but before we get started, I do have to address this situation. I get a lot of questions, believe it or not, in the beginning of my videos, when I come before you guys and just my brows are done, people are like, what is going on with your head? Is that discoloration? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm totally fine. I did my brows and that is concealer that is really not blended all the way out. All right. Cause I'm about to do my makeup. So that's all that is. I'm all good. It's all good. So I want to try these brushes. So I bought this set on Amazon and it was totally under $20. I think I spent like like 15 or 16 dollars but i have been seeing the artiste brushes all over youtube and i saw them at one of these events i was at i don't know imats fame expo one of those right from my understanding one of those brushes alone cost as much or more as this whole set that i purchased on amazon so i just want to see if it's even worth it for me to even invest in the artiste brushes so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna try these now i bought these probably like i don't know two, three, maybe even four months ago. And they have just been sitting here in this little box right here collecting dust. And I have been longing and waiting to do this video. So I'm gonna start by putting concealer on my eye and we're just gonna go for it. So this is not a makeup tutorial, okay? I repeat, this is not a makeup tutorial. I just wanna try these brushes out and see if they're like worth the hype. I totally do. Because I see people all on Instagram, like do you guys, if you're on Instagram, do you see all those like Instagram tutorials where they're using these brushes and they use it for everything, like wing liner, like everything. I'm not about to do that today. I'm just curious, like inquiring minds wanna know. So I am gonna use this concealer by Sephora, like mwah, mwah, mwah. So I don't use this on my eyebrows though because it has brightening properties in it and it brings attention to the brow especially on camera tried it like trust me did it got the t-shirt don't do it and these don't even have any names it doesn't tell you like what to use it for so I'm gonna just go for what I know and uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with this one that looks like a toothbrush and um, I'm just gonna blend that baby out like I don't even know how you're supposed to hold this uh, Cletus uh oh I don't know I feel like this is kind of removing my concealer a little bit I'm going to attempt to do the rest of my face with these brushes. So we're going to see. Like, I don't feel like I have as much control like I do with a regular brush, but that's probably just something I would have to get used to. So I'm just going to use my regular brush for this part. I know I said we're using those, but just this part, okay? Just this part, I hope. I am anxious though to try this one because I am looking for a brush that I can use under my lash line to blend out. So I'm gonna try that with this. And I'm not doing lashes because I'm not going anywhere, but I gotta do something because I'm on the itty bitty lash committee. <laughs> you cannot even see that on camera. Oh my God. So there are four brushes like this. Let's just go with this one, the next biggest one or the second biggest one. Uh oh, a little piece there. And it does leave a cast, so that's totally normal for my skin tone. That's the only thing I don't like about this primer. And if you wanna check out a video I did on this primer, then I do have it and I'll link it in this video. Ooh, color correcting though? Am I gonna use it for that? Let's just see how life works out. I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting. So I'm going to use the same one I use for like my concealer that I used on my eye and just blend it out. Ooh. This, this right here, that needs more help than this. It needs to be concealed. Oh, I like how it gets up in the air though. And by the way, I have my glasses on all day. So I feel like it's a little patchy. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, I forgot about right there. Like I said, it doesn't have names on it and it doesn't tell me like which brush this is supposed to be used for. But the size of that baby right there, let me do it like this. The size of that baby right there, I want to try that with the shadow. Oh, okay, now that is perfect for that. I would definitely be using this one. Do y'all see that? Like it got right up under there. I think I love he. I'm gonna use these two foundations. Like I, I really hate to waste them and I ain't going nowhere, but I'm gonna use them because I love the way they've been looking lately. I do half and half because one of them has more of a red tone to it and the other has more of a yellow. So it just gets me all the way right. We are going for the big one and I already see a couple of hair sticking out, but let's go. Whew. 
Ooh, I picked a thick foundation. Okay, now this bigger one does feel like it's gonna snap a little bit. I see what people are talking about. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I'm not left handed. Don't even play yourself. I feel like I have to go a little harder. Like I have to work harder with this versus my beauty blender. Now you guys, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So it's not going to be perfect. Like as if I was going somewhere, I'm not about to get all up in the nooks and crannies. This is just a test. I repeat, this is only a test. <laughs> I like how you can get like right around there like that though. Okay. Now it's better. I just had to maybe do them like that instead of circular. Just brushing it downward. So now let's go on to the concealer. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna use the next size up from the one I use for my corrector and um, hope for the best. Yeet. Oh, this one is a little better than that one. I wanna hurry up because I wanna watch the flash. Okay, and there's that. What do y'all think about that? I don't know. I am not gonna use one of those brushes to set. I'm gonna use my Sigma 3D brush. That's what I'm gonna use. And just get up under there. But I do like this brush though, cause it has that angle and you can get all up under there. See, I can get way up under your eye. Now I'm gonna put some powder on, but I'm definitely not using one of those brushes cause I'm a little scared. Actually, I don't know. Let's try it on one side. Let me do this side first. It's not that big though. This is the next size. Yeah, I don't know how that's, Oh, surprisingly, it's not bad. Of course, if I were to do this, I would definitely use a big one because yeah, this takes too much time. I'm really curious about this circular one. Let's try, this actually looks like my toothbrush, you know, those rotating ones, those electronic ones. But I am gonna try to use this for shadow. Let's see how that works. This is my Cocoa Bear. Mm, okay. I feel like that's kind of tugging my eye though. There's another circular one in there too. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to just go into like a shimmer color and see what happens. Now that right there, I like that for the inner corner. Whoops, whoops, overkill, overkill. You guys, Makeup Forever is coming out with some new artist acrylic lipsticks. So I'm gonna use one of them. This one is in the color 401 or 401. And it came in this little paint can and I showed you guys on Snapchat if you follow me, it's so cute. And it comes with lip liners too, like I'm all the way stoked. So I think I'm just gonna put some on just for the heck of it because why not, right? Like I was telling you guys on Snapchat that I was that type of kid that whenever I got new stuff or whenever I got like a new outfit, I did not wait to wear it to school the next day. Like I had to totally go home and play in it just to make sure that everything was looking right. Highlighter, uh-uh, highlighter. I am going to use Makeup Geek's Ablaze. Y'all know I've been loving Ablaze. And I'm going to use the same brush that I use for my powder and hope for the best. <laughs> So what do you guys think? This is what I would usually do if it's like during the week and I am doing makeup, I do much of nothing, okay? Not even eyeshadow actually. So this is like a little bit extra for me. But um, um, I will say that I do not know if these are an exact dupe for the Artiste brushes because I do not own them. But if this is how the Artiste collection operates, then I'm cool, like I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So even though like I'm cool on the whole collection, like it's not something that I have to have in my collection, I will probably use these two again. I have been looking for a brush to get right in my lash line, especially when I put on a liner and I want to smudge it out a little bit. I think this little doohickey will be perfect. So you may see this again. This one right here is perfect to get right up in there. So that is it for this video, you guys. You know, usually I'm looking a little more flawless. Do you feel like this makeup is as flawless as what I usually do? Like, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Let me know. I want to know. I want to know. Also, if you've used it, let me know. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for commenting all the time. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. You are appreciated like more than you know. I mean, words cannot even express. Okay. So you guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. CQ Beauty makeover. Confidence is key.
ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.